It's an Adam Sandler movie, and it's a sequel. What could go wrong? Ever since Johnny and Mavis had their little monster, I've been the happiest vampire in the world! Are we sure he's a vampire? <laughs> Technically, you have until you're five to get your vampire fangs. Oh, he'll get his fangs. He's just like me. Look at him! Blah, blah, blah. I don't say blah, blah, blah. Hotel Transylvania 2. So Hotel Transylvania 2 is directed by Jendi Tartakovsky and it stars Adam Sandler, Kevin James, David Spade, Keegan-Michael Key, Selena Gomez, Andy Samberg. List goes on. on. So Hotel, Hotel Trans Transylvania 2, it's been a few years since the first Hotel Transylvania and maybe it's Johnny, they've had a kid and the kid is coming up to his fifth birthday and they don't know whether he's going to be a vampire or not and Adam Sandler's character, Drac, He's trying, he wants the child to be a vampire, even though know, it's just like, hey, it's okay, which I don't want he is. So he's kind of like a closet human racist. But still, all that stuff kind of happens, so it's, and then Mavis and Johnny go to California for like a weekend or a week or something. So Drac takes the grand, takes his grandchild and tries to make him into a vampire. Because he's a closet human racist. Hotel Transylvania 2, I've seen it three times. I rented it for an overnight and I watched it three times. And it's really funny. For the first time at least, the first time it's quite funny and then like the second and third time it, the human just kind of dies off, I thought second time I might laugh just as much, didn't, and the third time I might laugh a little bit more and then I didn't. So the moral of the story is that consequential viewings aren't as funny as the first time in this movie which it was. The movie is also, the movie is also really charming and it's very colourful as well so it's good for the little kids. And the human that it has, it's family guy humour, but this guy did family guy humour before family guy. Kind of, because Jenny Tartakovsky, I think he made the Powerpuff Girls, that's how far he goes back. <laughs> Family Guy humor in this works really well, like, it was really unexpected going into it, but it, so now you can go and watch it and be like, Family Guy. The movie is also really fast paced, so the time flies really fast, and I check how long it was, it was about 83 minutes. So it's not very long. The ending is also jarring and like, very... For, it felt very forced as well, like you didn't need it at all. Like they're building up some sort of family movie and then all of a sudden it died, those dives. And it, it's a terrible ending, I'm just putting it out there. Like it's a terrible ending, you knew that because it was a kids movie. But it worked for the kid, like if for the kids, kids they, they won't care, care, but for a movie standpoint, it's not working, it's a terrible ending, it's very jarring and off-putting. The movie overall, even though it had a message, it failed to like sort of send that message because of the ending. So in the movie was all fluff, no substance. Like it was just all this, this uh, it was just kind of like a hollow movie. It didn't really have much of an emotional impact when it happened, when stuff happened. Anyway, for all that, I will give Hotel Transylvania 2 a 7.5 out of 10. Have you seen Hotel Transylvania 2? Let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to become one of the panel. See you guys next time. Bye.